into routine having a healthy reset feeling like myself again because when i don't do my healthy habits for a good bit of time i notice how oh my god it's, i'm sweating so much <laughs> because the ac is not and the sun is directly hitting me but basically i just when i don't have my routine structure i'm fine with it but when that means lacking on healthy food and lacking on exercise i do notice the difference in my mental well-being and in how easy or uneasy i feel and it has a big impact so I'm just really happy to get back into things and I'll take you with me through it in the hopes that it motivates you to do a healthy food shop and go to the gym and just, you know, this is what this is about. Some extra self-care post-vacation. <laughs> if you think I'm talking funny, it's because I'm starting a new round of aligners with Invisalign. And um, long story short, it's because I first went with Dr. Smile to get my teeth done to get them straightened two years ago. And that caused a whole bunch of problems that led me to get having no bite. So my, my jaw doesn't close properly and not having a proper... Um, Jaw, jaw location so basically we're having to fix that now and that's why i've got like these things on my teeth that once i wear the aligners i have this band to put around just to get my jaw in the right position so that's why i'm talking funny right now i'm not even wearing my eyeliners but you can see these like dots significantly and well it's not it's not sexy and I don't think it looks great but it's a necessary evil to get a whole bunch of symptoms and pains that I have to get rid of them so yeah just thought i would tell you about that but other than that i thought i would also bring you up to speed on but what's been happening i've just got back no i've just i've got two days ago i got back from vacation i was on a horse riding ranch vacation with my family and i didn't vlog or film any of it just because I, one i wasn't inspired i didn't feel like it was the place to do it and 
I told myself a month ago that I would only film when I feel inspired so I didn't vlog even though my ego wanted to be consistent with uploading but I didn't do it so now I'm back and this is a really reset getting back into my routine vlog I am I have so many things to get sorted to just feel like I'm back into my routine because even though I'm super grateful to ha have the means and to be able to travel and to have all of those experiences but I'm also really tired of it in a way I really just want to be home I want to settle back into my routine I want to work out I want to eat well so I just want to do all the things that I absolutely love doing on my regular basis <laughs> oh my god it's even weird to talk because like it hits my jaw um, it hits my cheek but yeah so that's why I'm, that's this is what this vlog is about but today is definitely a workout now I'm gonna go work out now because I haven't been working out for two and a half weeks now I'm gonna have a very mo mobility focused and maybe a full body we'll see maybe full body or lower body one of the two and then after the workout i'm gonna see and ask my boyfriend if we want to go shopping grocery shopping because we have no food right now i've only bought bits and bobs every day for each day but i hate shopping like that because it one costs so much money and we also like my boyfriend and i we started doing this financial plan and one of them is not wasting our money on spontaneous food shops that we don't feel like are nourishing us like buying pizza and things like that that just for the sake of having a quick meal we're not gonna do it anymore so we're gonna go do a grocery shop today get all the veggies all everything that i have i have a food list and um, meal plan of what i want to be eating this week i also want to bake this week um which like if you know me you know i don't bake and cook out of a hobby but i want to get to a space where i do because if i enjoy cooking more then i also will naturally have more healthy meals throughout the day throughout the week and that will help with my fitness and health goals basically that is what we're also doing cleaning the flat reorganizing the flat buying new things from ikea because my boyfriend and i want to restructure the kitchen restructure the little storage space that we have and buy organizers so that the kitchen is this really safe fun place to be in that makes me enjoy cooking i want to buy all the things that i don't have right now which people would laugh at me that i don't have some cooking utensils just because i i am very minimalist when i'm cooking and I, it's about to change so there's a bunch of stuff that we have to go shopping for so mm. Oh my god, it's so uncomfortable talking with all this. I still have to get used to it. But let's go work out first. And all right, let's go work out. Time to exercise. had lunch uh, but basically we're off to go shopping now um <laughs> what, what an angle we're gonna go shopping now grocery shopping so i'll take you with me <laughs>
is that line straight? Good morning. It's Friday. Oh my god, I love this so much. And today I'm gonna go and take you with me to Ikea. Now you can probably tell more <laughs> by the way I'm speaking because now I have the aligners in. I feel like it's so bulky and big and it like makes my lips and the way I speak humongous, but it is what it is. Health over appearance. <laughs> so yeah. Yesterday we did the healthy food shopping, cleaned the fridge out, stocked things up and today is about reorganizing because my kitchen is an absolute state. I haven't properly organized this in months. I haven't ever properly given it a thought where everything is and how it's placed so that I actually enjoy cooking. And like I mentioned today, uh, yesterday, um, I want to make an active effort to really enjoy my kitchen, my cleaning space, my everything so that when i go in here it's like this cozy vibey space to have fun in which is why i'm going to install some lights that are dimmable and have a change of color i'm going to put some plants in here and mainly and also what we're going to ikea for today is get some organizing shelves for um and i'll show you in a minute a pointing won't tell you where it has to go but basically that's the plan for today because i feel like if i organize my space really well it's just gonna feel differently. It's gonna support my lifestyle. And I honestly believe that the way you keep your flat, the way you keep your living space, or at least the space that you're in the most of the time, that directly correlates to how you feel about your goals, how motivated you are. I think it just has a huge impact on my mental well-being. And in order to reach my goals and live this lifestyle that I love having, I want to make sure that all the components of it are well kept up and this is one of the things. When I'm being honest, like when my boyfriend works, I'm working, we hardly take the time to actually keep up with our space and keep it in a state that we really enjoy. So this is where things are going to be changing from now on. And it starts with organizing and having a proper space for everything. And yeah, I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. So let's have a organizing slash makeover apartment makeover vlog today so i'll show you why what and why i need for which space in my flat and then we'll go to ikea together so with my really weird smile let's let's have a look at all the things we need first thing that i need is something for here because this is the entryway so when you come in that's actually the first thing that you see oh my god <laughs> when you look up so we want to get some boxes to put store everything and then also reorganize because the stuff that's laying on there is just because I've put it up there one by one with time. So that's gonna get reorganizing boxes. And then this is probably why I'm most shameful about, and I don't even know if I can show you, but here we want to get storage units as storage boxes to put into each and every single space there so that um, it doesn't just like lie about. And then this is where our cartonage is right now. So have something to put this into. And then the worst bit, well actually that's debatable, <laughs> is um, find some sort of shelving unit so that we can clear in all of the, yeah, the cleaning things. And also find space for the new cleaning stuff I bought. This is my current entryway. Um, so you basically come through the door and this is what you see first, minus the bathroom. <laughs> and this is quite a wide wall, it's about two meters. So, what I want to do is I've bought three separate cupboards that I'm going to put together myself and then have a mirror and then decorate it accordingly. That's, that's the plan for this space it's because I feel like this is my favorite space, but this doesn't justify that. I want everything the second that you walk into to be this warm and cohesive space and that it just everything opens up and it's really like... It's like a wow factor almost.
everything. It's been really exhausting. There's still so much stuff there. We've gotten closer to finishing, but I think we're gonna stop and continue tomorrow because it's just so exhausting. I still have an errand to run for my family. Actually, let me show you where we are right now. So that's the dryer in the background, but basically, we got rid of all of the stuff on the top and organized it into the right boxes, cleaned out that bit. I got new candles. I got the fancy, well, the fancy ones, the ones that are going viral on TikTok right now because they smell really luxurious. We still have boxes to clean out, all the stuff that's going downstairs into the cellar at, or attic. I don't know what you call it. This has to go downstairs. That has to go downstairs. This has to go to the recycling, 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 recycling. Dirty laundry, um, and then this is the state of the kitchen. We still have to organize so much of the stuff, but this is the room now. So much better. Everything has its own little space, protein powders, and everything's organized. And now so much more stuff has a room in here. And we also organized this bit into that. We're still gonna buy something to put a long way and then we're gonna buy something to put on top of this. Look how dark that is, we have to clean out. Um, put something on the top of here. So now I'm just gonna try and rest. I feel a bit, my nervous system feels a bit triggered still. I think that's from something in the vacation, but yeah, I'm gonna have a chill night tonight now, try and rest. And then um, continuing with the to-dos that we have so that I just feel like I'm getting back into my routine. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Good morning. It's Saturday and I am really excited for today, even though I didn't get a lot of sleep. Today I'm gonna go head to the, what do you call it in English actually? I think it's the Fine Arts Museum in Basel. Because since I'm trying to redecorate the entire place, I'm trying to make it more my home, I'm gonna take the advice that I've seen so many interior designers do, which is pick art pieces that have meaning to you. It's gonna be a long process. I don't think this apartment is gonna be done in the next few months, but it's all, I'm also happy with that because if I can bit by bit have pieces that I really genuinely love and when I walk past them I get joy and happiness from them then that is intentional purchasing and I think that's what I'm going for right now because buying things that have a short-term use or that um, I just don't feel connected to just seems like a like a shitty way to uh, use my money. I do want to afterwards go to the secondhand stores that they have in Basel and there's tons of art there, there's books there and I want to see if I can find some bits and bobs for the redecorating and for the style that I'm going for. I'll pop up my Pinterest board right now so that you get an idea of what I'm going for. But hopefully I can get as close as possible to these design ideas, but we'll see. Today, that's the plan for today. And then maybe make a nice healthy dinner because we have so much food in the fridge. And yeah, just enjoy my day because my sisters are gonna meet me and they're gonna join me for this little venture. Time to take you with me through this Saturday. Don't know if I'll be filming tomorrow, to be honest, <laughs> because this is gonna be a week in my life vlog, even though it's not a full week, but it feels like a week, so I think I'm gonna get away with it. <laughs> if not, you can reprimand me in the comments below. And then tomorrow we really, like with me, I mean, me and my boyfriend have to finish the flat, clean and organize. There's so much stuff lying about. It's an absolute, it's an absolute state right now. I'll keep you updated, but let's go. Yeah.